Hi friends, welcome back. Our today's topic is order and ranking. As we know, ranking is one of the very important topic for all kind of competitive exams related to bank, SSC, railways, UPSC, CSAT and placement trainings. In all the exams, minimum 2 to 3 questions will be asked. So, let us understand the basic of order and ranking. Here I am going to discuss two concept which is very important and at the end you will have two formulas. Do not try to remember the formulas, instead try to understand the concept so that you yourself will be able to write down the formula whenever it is required. So, in the question generally they will ask you how many numbers are in between 4 and 10. So, 4 and 10 if anybody will ask you how many numbers then what you will do 10 minus 4 is equals to 6, but this is wrong. Let us see in between 4 and 10 how many numbers will be there, see 5 will be there, 6 will be there, 7 will be there, 8 will be there, 9 will be there. So, only 5 numbers will be there in between 4 and 10. So, if anybody ask you in between n and m, see here because 4 to 10 is there, so what we are doing is we are writing down the numbers also and then we are able to identify instead of 6 there are only 5 numbers in between 4 and 10. So, how many numbers will be there between n and m? So, n and m the numbers will be see basically what we are doing is 10 minus 4 minus 1. 1 1 we have to subtract extra then it will be 5. So, if they ask you how many numbers are there in between n and m numbers between n and m then it will be m minus n minus 1. In fact, if you do not remember the formula then what you can do you can simply take here in between 2 and 5 how many numbers will be there? See in between 2 and 5 it will not be 5 minus 2. See 2, 3, 4. So, in between 2 and 5 only 2 numbers will be there. So, what you have to do? You have to write 5 minus 2 minus 1 which will be equal to what? 2. So, you can only find out the formula. So, no need of remembering m minus n minus 1 to find out the numbers between n and m. Okay. What is the second concept? See, second concept they will be asking you the position from left and right. See, suppose take the alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. See, I have taken one example to make you understand how to calculate the position from left and right. Now, if you will see there are total 26 letters are there, right. Okay. Now, if you will see the position of y from right is what? See from position of right from position of y from right will be 1 and 2. So, I can write here position of y from right will be what? 2. Now, if we have to calculate the position of y from left, then what we will do? position of y from left will be total is what see, generally what a student will do total is 26 minus position of right is 2. So, it is will become 24, but you see the position of y from left is what 1, 2, 3 anyway total is what 26 this is first letter and this is 26 letter. So, from left side the position of y will be what 25, but what we are getting is 24. So, here also there will be a mistake if you are not careful. So, how will you calculate the position of y from left side? So, the position of y from left side will be 26 plus 1 minus 2. So, this will be equal to what 25 and then only it will be correct. So, now if I say here position of m from right or position of n from right is equals to n and position of n from left you have to calculate you have to calculate and the total number is m so what will be the formula see total plus 1 so m plus 1 and the position whatever you have to calculate the posi given position minus n and this will be what position from position from left so this is vice versa see if the position of n from left is given is equals to n and then position of n from right you have to calculate then it will be m plus n minus n. So, this will be vice versa the formula the concept will be same. I will request you not to remember the formula instead of that try to understand these two important concept. So, that if you forget the formula in the exam also you will be able to find out the formula by yourself.
let's see question number one and try to solve it here in a row of 25 children so total number of children is what total number of children is 25 facing south r is 16th from the right end and b is 18th from the left end how many children are there between r and b see here direction is given south north right so see this will be your north east south and west so when it is north then your right side will be this way and your left side will be what this way or you can say when it is north we have to take our right from this side and left from this side okay let's understand so in a row of total 25 children facing south r is 16th from the right end see if it is north means right will start from this side but because it is south so my right will start from what this side so r position is 16th from the right end and b is 18th from the left end and the b position is 18th from the left end but we don't know where exactly the b will be but we do not know where exactly the position of b will be we, what we are doing is we are drawing a assumed diagram see b may be here b may be here b may be there but we don't have to worry we have to apply the concept so how many children are there between r and b see in the basic i taught you if 2 and 5 if we have to find how many numbers are there in between then how many numbers will be there two numbers will be there but generally what we do we subtract 5 minus 2 and we get three numbers which is wrong then what you have to do 5 minus 2 minus 1 which is nothing but equal to 2 so same thing here also we can do but see the position of r from right is given and the position of b from left is given so both should be either from the right or both should be either from the left so what we will do we will calculate the position of b from right so the position of b from right will be what total total number is 25 plus 1 minus the position of b from the left will be what 18th so minus 18th so it will be 26 minus 18 is what 8 so the position of b from the right we have got is what 8th right 25 plus 1 is 26 26 minus 18 is 8 now we can calculate the numbers between or the number of children's between b and r it will be it will be 16 minus 8 minus 1 which is nothing but 7 children's so in this question the option is 2 3 4 and data and educate one more option we can put none and this answer will be a none because the number of children between b and r is what seven see one thing we have to careful the position of r and b if it is given different then both we have to take in the same direction either you take from right or you take from left but both we have to take the same direction so only you will be able to calculate now you see this is b position and this is r position we will be easily able to calculate the number of children between b and r which will which will be 16 minus 8 minus 1 16 minus 9 is 7 which will be option e none will be the answer and this question has been already asked in punjab and sindh bank 2010 thanks a lot for watching the video